Mr. Mahama says he supports free SHS but describes the current conditions in second cycle institutions as miserable. He says the policy is enshrined in the 1992 constitution, therefore no government can totally scrub it. The former president committed to complete stored educational infrastructure projects his administration initiated to improve education access. Mr. Mahama pledges to build more schools with focus on zongos and highly populated areas across the country. We will complete all the remaining 200 community day senior high schools. <laughs> We will build additional ones in high density urban communities, including the Zongos and the underserved areas. In the first three months of my coming into office, we will hold a stakeholder consultation with parents, teachers, and educational experts to identify and eliminate all the bottlenecks that are affecting the effective implementation of the free SHS law. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, free SHS is here to stay. Indeed, indeed it is underpinned and guaranteed by the 1992 Constitution of the Mr. Mahama also revealed more attention will be given to technical and vocational education and training. We intend to continue to clear the pathway so that the path towards technical and vocational education training from the basic level through the secondary level to the tertiary level will be an alternative of first choice and not an alternative of rejected students. Indeed, I dare say that we need our best, brightest and best to take the path of technical education if we are to transform this subject. Professor Mike Echampon is Interim Vice-Chancellor of the Kumasi Technical University.